Okay, here I've got X9 open. And I'm just going to draw a polyline in plan view. And I can convert it, this two-dimensional object, I can convert it to a three-dimensional object called a slab. If I want to, uh, see, I've got a dialog box. I can tell it where to be in terms of height, how thick, so forth. S simple, custom-made 3D object. And I can also draw another polyline and convert that. It, you know, inside the original slab and convert this to a slab and just make this one a hole. Uh, see if I was going to click on has footing. No. Yeah, there it is. Hole in slab. And what happens there is you get a slab with a hole in it. Well, a polyline solid is the same sort of thing but done in, in an elevation view. I'm going to delete that, draw an elevation camera, go to my polyline tool. And these can become very fancy if you need them to. And uh, it's the same thing as a slab. You just convert this to a polyline solid. And in terms of uh, perpendicular viewpoint, this is the thickness of the object. I'll make it... Uh, 36 inches. And by the same token, just like a custom slab, if I want to, uh, let's just, let's do something a little bit more interested. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want, yeah, there's what I want. I'll create that, convert that to a polyline solid, and make it a hole. I don't care about the depth because it'll pick up the depth from the uh, original object. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> there must have been an error message that I... Oh, okay. Maybe I forgot to check it. No, it says hole. Just not working. Oh, all right. Let me uh, d delete that. I'll do it the old-fashioned way with the arc tool. I would have sworn that that circle thing worked. I've, used, I've done it before anyway. Let's see. No polyline on the same type. Oh. What's this? Oh. Okay. My bad. Got to do this in an elevation camera. <laughs> I was doing it in plan view. You can't cut a polyline solid. Well, try to click on that elevation camera tool. It's not it's selecting. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Try this again. I think I checked that this time. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I... I must not be doing. I must not be doing this correctly. That's a polyline solid, thirty-six inches thick. I don't think it should matter. Anyway, you can make intricate objects like this, custom objects, just by making the uh, edge lines. Uh, well, I'm not, I don't know why I'm getting that. Oh, well. Anyway, for like your cabinet, let me get rid of that. Didn't mean to open the dialog box. I meant to delete it. Okay. Say I need this. 
three quarters of an inch in thickness. Now, I'm trying to click on that dimension, but it didn't select. I don't know why the temporary dimensions aren't active, but uh, okay. Go back to plan view. Click on the object, not the camera. There we go. I want the thickness to be, uh, well, the depth of a cabinet, like 24 inches. And we'll go back to this camera. Yeah, okay, the thickness we're going to set to three quarters of an inch. Didn't quite what I wanted, but uh, anyway, you can make these college line solids any shape, any thickness that you need, and place them. This is the originally two-dimensional object. They'll go anywhere inside a, an existing cabinet to represent an additional piece that you want to uh, emulate. I want that about 24 inches wide. I don't know why I can't use that automatic. <laughs> I'm disoriented. I'm just delete, delete, delete that thing. I want it just to be that ledge that you were talking about. We'll make this. Uh, Three quarters of an inch thick. I don't know what your actual thickness is, but you can set it like that. Click on this end. Make it 24 inches wide. And then convert it to a polyline solid. It has a depth of, or thickness of, 24 in plan view. And there's your object. That's not very difficult. Uh, let me go back to plan view move this camera viewpoint a bit out of the way. Now I'm going to take a base cabinet and we'll face it towards the camera. Close enough. And there's my polyline solid. Let's say I wanted that uh, right underneath the door. Well, we'll just take that, transform, replicate, we'll move it up under the door. I think it's, uh, I should raise it about three inches. And yeah, not quite. Move it right underneath there and we'll line it up with the cabinet. It seems to me that sim this is similar to uh, your, uh, what you're talking about in your cabinet. You wanted a ledge, an additional ledge there, you just put a ledge there. How hard was that? It was not hard. Not difficult at all. Okay. Unless I totally missed the point, that should answer your question. Thank you very much.